Sankar the Mundu very, very deeply, and it's really about who you are. Mundu is all about who you are. From prostration, whom you are prostrating? For the ministry. Who is really inside the ministry? Doji Sang. Who is Doji Sang, your Lama? Do you see that? You are doing the prostration. Again, your prostration is doing the Guru Yoga in order to build this build this devotion to the Guru Yoga. Guru. And when you look at Doji uh, Mandala or the Doji Sempa, who is Doji Sempa? When you look closely, Doji Sempa is uh, not separate than that. Your Lama. Doji Sempa is your Lama. Uh, interesting, there are many uh, kind of great masters, they always emphasize if you have a strong connection with your Lama, you can practice the whole Doji Sempa visualizing the Lama. Do you understand what I mean? So it's, it's a really, you can do the whole Doji Sempa on your Lama. Even in, you don't have to put the Doji Chang in the center, in the, when you do the prostration. You can put the directly your Lama. But the question is that, first of all, many people, they don't know who is their Lama. Confused, should I put him or him or her? Do you, do you understand what I mean? <laughs> like I don't know, like a, should I visualize him? But I have a little doubt on him, you know. But then change the picture, not the one that can. <laughs> do, do you understand what I mean? So some people, they, don't, they are not fixed yet, you know. So whatever that really means. So the whole mantra is you can do it without putting the Doji Chang in the center, you can put the Lama directly, without Doji Sempa is blinking, you can directly the Lama, do, do the whole Doji Sempa based on the Lama, without all the others, you know, doing the offering mandala to your Lama, and of course, Guru Yoga is based on Guru Yoga Lama. But, especially who is beginner, so-called, you know, do you understand, who don't really have Lama, in a way who, whom they really can't really replace the Doji Chang into Lama. Do you understand? They think Doji Chang is still higher than Lama. Do you, do you understand? So that that's clearly shows that that you be, they better put Doji, Doji, Doji Chang instead of Lama. Do, do you understand what I mean? So that the lineage, the, 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 it's, it's, it's for the general. Of course, Doji, Doji Chang simply means the union of red people and white people. You know, that's how it represents Doji Chang. The hole in the Dorji, so which means that the, there is this uh, the, the Mahamudra state, sometimes it's called Dorji. The Dorji thing is it. So, whatever the holding simply means the resting in that Mahamudra. So, Dorji Chang simply means the state of Mahamudra. So, who is the, in the state of Mahamudra? So you are Lama. But if you think Lama is not, yeah, it's okay, he's good, but do you understand? Oh, she's good, but, but is he really higher than Dorji Chang? I don't know. Do you understand? So, then I mean, you, you should not. Yeah, you should not just Doji Chang, but then time to time understand he is your Lama. Doji Chang is your Lama, time to time remind that, but you you, you can't really put that replace the Lama in Doji Chang. So what I'm trying to say here, who is really Lama? Who is really Lama? Lama. What does that mean? Lama, what is that? There's no higher or beyond. So they didn't say B. Did they say? They didn't say Lama Senchen. No, they didn't say Lama. Boom. They didn't say Lama. So it just says there is no beyond. Now, what is that which is not beyond? Of course, the Dharma Kai, the state of Mahamudra. That now the confusion. Like, what is the connection, Lama, Dharmakaya, nature of mind? Do, do you understand what I mean? So that he, it is so profoundly we have to understand. Lama means Mahamudra. So you have to, you have to have, we have to have, kind of associate these two words, Mahamudra and Lama, and rest, and whatever other, other others you can combine. As soon as you so this is the ultimate <coughs> lama. Then it's the resting. 
that this is really ultimate life. No. So you have to really, some people told me like, ah, I really miss my Lama. You understand? They, they think, I really miss, even in the dream he comes to my mind. You understand? Oh, I really miss so much. Sometimes I'm afraid I will lose my Lama. Do you understand what I mean? And I feel really jealous when somebody is close to my Lama. <laughs> Sometimes I feel jealous when somebody is too close to my Lama. I can't close with him or her, but I don't want anybody to close with him. <laughs> you understand? I am very jealous. <coughs> you are playing the old game now. Do you, do you understand? What I mean? So here, one thing what we have to understand is that what I really understand from the many masters, for them, they can't differentiate the Mahabhudra and Lama. When they, when, see, they, they, when they express Lama never connected for me, simply means I never, even one second I never separate from the Mahabhudra. That is what they really mean when they say, the Lama is 24 hours in my heart. Simply that means I was in the state of Mahamudra for 24 hours. Did you see that? So it's not two different words. I miss my Lama simply means it reminds the nature of state of Mahamudra. I am in a state of Mahamudra. So now it's so now the interesting part is that the outer Lama, the job of outer Lama is to 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 let us understand the inner love. Do, do you understand what I mean? For, for put it that way, if I'm here, so my job or my responsibility or my whatever, whatever you wanted to say, my job is not to be, do you understand? All the time, do you understand? There. The job of any lama or job of any teacher is to so, for example, people say, oh, I have a really devotion to you. Do you understand what I mean? The Lama has to understand he or she is not devotion to that your form. Do you understand what I mean? Do you understand what I mean? He or she is devotion to that quality. The quality is state of mind. So sometimes, some Lama, when they lost into like, oh, how wow, many people are following me? They're not following you. Do you understand what I mean? They are following that light. Of that Makari. Are you understanding what I mean? If you start to build the ego, you will lost. So now whatever, don't go there. What I'm trying to say is that the job of the outer lama is to slowly introduce that him or her, the inner lama. Are you getting or not? Not job of outer lama is not like yeah, yeah, I'm your lama. Just <laughs> just follow me whole life, you will be safe, I will protect you. Then what is different between Buddhist and any other. Do you understand? There are many, like a uh, kind of, you know, many religion who go after the tree, after the mountain. There is a rock. Rock is their god. They will protect them. Do you understand what I mean? There is not any single difference. So in the beginning, it looks like there is outer lama. He is dwelling he or she, whomever. So it's so important that we as a student, we as a wajra and a practitioner. We have to understand what is Lama. Lama simply means the Mahamudra state or the, your pure state of mind or nature of mind. So there's no other explain than this. Lama simply means Mahamudra state of mind. Now, now, so what is the role of the so-called outer Lama? Now, this is so interesting here. Put it that way. Put it that way. For example, my Lama is sitting here. I'm looking at my Lama. <laughs> Am I really looking at the outer Lama? No, I'm looking at Lama inside me. Now if you, if you, if for example, this is beautiful here. This is very beautiful. If you look at it from the dream point of view, in a dream, if you meet some great, great being, put it that way, teacher. You have lots of questions, you meet the one teacher in the dream, the old guy with the old hand. You know, white hair, whatever that, like a, like in Harry Potter or <laughs> so, you, like a, or maybe lady, old lady, we never know. 
whom you were going to meet, you know. <laughs> so you ask all the questions and he or she answer everything. But in a in a matter of fact, she's yourself or he's yourself, that the inner wisdom is manifesting in a form. Do you, do, do you understand what I mean? So there's all this somehow this there's two dimensions inside us. Do you understand? One we are kind of weak. One, there's a full awakened wisdom, everything, and that you can see in a very clear dream. So, who is really Lama outside is simply as reflecting your inner nature of mind outside in the form. That's why we call it Dharma, the Nirmana Kaya. Do you understand? So, what is the real ultimate Lama is Dharma Kaya? <coughs> Do you understand what I mean? So, the between, the transaction between Nirmana Kaya and Dharma Kaya is Sambhoga Kaya, the Hira practice. So, this is why everything is connected. So, what I'm trying to say here, all Monda is Guru Yoga. Do you understand Guru Yoga? And Guru Yoga is nothing but the Mahamudra. See, Guru Yoga is not some human, yeah, I miss you so much. You are so great, <laughs> and thank you. You know? <laughs> and you put a picture, do you understand the picture? You know, well, I miss you so much. You are creating another dualism. Do you understand the outer lama? When you miss the outer lama, it has to be <laughs> remind something inside. Do you see that uh, what I'm trying to say? The real missing lama. Lama temba is developed. Lama temba is not just I miss my then it's not like I just missing some friend. It's not that. When you miss that. The Lama, so-called outer Lama, it has to be connected to the Dharmakaya and that missing has to be associated, reminder. When you see some people who don't like you, when you see him or when you think about him, what will happen? Aversion come, aggressive come, do you understand? That picture, picture of that person, thinking of that person, image of that person or that real person, he or she have only one job to remind your inner aversion to awake, activate. So the outer Lama, when you miss, not like, oh, I miss him, oh, I, I feel insecure, do you understand, oh, Lama will leave me alone. That's your wrong conception. It's not like a, you are, do you understand what I mean? The, the outer Lama, as soon as you think about him, it should be connected to your inner nature of mind, the Dhammakaya. And as soon as you think about Lama, as soon as it somehow, somehow what? Everything stops. Past stop, present stop, future stop. Don't don't need to rest. This is really good yoga. Do you yeah, Lama, Lama, I miss you, I miss you. Do you understand what I mean? <coughs> if you don't call me, if you don't reply my email, I will get angry on you. <laughs> <laughs> it's better the sooner that you find the inner Lama, the safer that you will be. Do you understand? If you have the whole life rely on the outer lama, it doesn't matter who he or she is, you will be in suffering. I, I understand what I mean. So what kind of suffering? It depends on how much you have ego. Lama, outer lama will make you crazy sometimes. <laughs> That's make you crazy that you think like, is this really a spiritual or samsara or is, what is happening here? They make you crazy. <laughs> it depends on what kind of Lama, outer Lama you will meet. The sooner that you find the inner Lama, <laughs> the safer that you are. 